Hello, 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 everyone. My name is Andrew, and I'm filling in for I'm filling in for Corey today, and we're here to learn about this month's big idea. And you know, big idea, big ideas are something that go inside of us to change the world around us. And I'm so glad that you are here today. I'm waiting on co-host Anaya. Anaya. Anaya, what are what are you doing? What Andrew? When I was wondering when you were gonna get here. But, I get here when I want to get here. Um Anaya, are you are you okay? Look, come here. Are you okay? Mm, perfectly fine. Uh, okay, okay. I think we should start talking about the big idea like we planned. You know, I got the outline right here and how we're going to introduce everything. Anaya, hmm? what, what are you doing? Are you, are you okay? Are you, are you having a fever or something? <laughs> what, what just happened? I, are you okay? I don't like to be touched. Only when I want to be touched. What? Why do you have those socks on? Pause. Isn't it obvious? Um, no, it's not. It's not anything that we were going to talk about. Let's, you know what? Let's just, let's get to, let's just get to the big idea. <laughs> okay, um, the, I am, I am worried for you. Okay, Anaya, do you think that you could, you, you know what? No, 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 Okay, I don't think you can. I, I don't. Okay, okay, everyone. Everyone, start a drum roll on your legs. Three, two, one. Self-control is choosing to do what you should even when you don't want to. You know, we had it all planned. We were going to talk about how this big idea can help you control your temper and how it would be great if we could all find a way to stop and think to pause before we lose control, but I guess this is just all out the window now, so. You know, and I, I'm not sure, what are you, what are you doing? What, you're running around like a cat. I don't get it. And cats have paws. Yes, and what, and what about And you said it? that part of self-control was learning to pause. <laughs> Oh, oh. Before you act. So cats are the perfect example for self-control. Oh, wow. That, that was a reach. I'm that... ignoring you now. Anaya, look, okay. I'm, listen, I know you meant well, but we're, we're talking about people having self-control, not, not cats. And besides, pause, P-A-U-S-E, means take some time not to put on socks to be a cat pause, P-A-W-S, it's two, it's two different pauses. And I, and I, why don't, okay, will you take the socks off? I, I mean pause and we'll, we'll leave the kids so they can watch a video like or something. Here, look, look, and I, and I, here, go get the ball. Okay, all right, this is worse than I thought. Um, you guys watch this. I'm gonna go talk to Anaya. Happy New Year, everybody. It's me, Markel. I've been thinking about self-control this month, and I think I have an idea. This tape will be my self-control. When my hands want to do this, I'll tape them down. When my stomach really wants this, I'll just tape my mouth closed. When my brother plays saxophone in his room at full volume, tape over my ears. <laughs> it's easy. In all these situations, wait. On second thought, I need a better plan. I would need a lot of tape. <laughs> I guess all I need for self-control is myself. I mean, I can choose what to eat, what to play with, even what I hear. And let's be honest, choosing self-control isn't always easy. Go away. <laughs> but I always have a choice. 
And now, I hope you'll choose to say it with me. Self-control is choosing to do what you should do even when you don't want to. One more time, self-control is choosing to do what you should do even when you don't want to. Awesome, guys. Have a great month, and we'll see you next time. Oh, 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 hey there, I'm MC Haggis, and this here is my best hi, beatboxing hi, partner, hi, Seamus hi, McFamous. Hi, Give him a sample, Seamus. <laughs> whoa, whoa, I think that was mostly spit. This month we're learning about self-control, choosing to do what you should do even when you don't want to, and, and it couldn't have come at a better time. You see, with this being the start of a new year, Seamus was going to lay off the candy for a while. <laughs> He wanted to limit his sugar intake for his diet for health reasons, and too much sugar makes him, you know, like this. Oh, note to self wash this. Anywho, Seamus ended up eating a giant gummy bear in one sitting. And now, well, there it is. <laughs> hey, Seamus, come here, lad. Come here, uh, come, no, 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 Seamus, Seamus, my friend, come on, we, we, we need to shoot our video, our rap video, okay? Hey, that's, hey. No, 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 that's nice, but I need you to bring the energy down a little bit so that we can shoot our rap video. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's good, that, no, no, but that, no, you need to stand up while you're doing that, I didn't, uh, okay, good man, so, let's go ahead <laughs> and kick it. No, 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 that's way too fast. I can't rap that fast. No, 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 no. That, what do you think? We're, that's Reesey PC times 10. No, slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down a bit. All right? Just do it again. Try it again. Go. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's too fast. No, no. What I'm thinking is like a 1980s hip hop. You know, that kind of, that kind of rhythm. Yeah. Here, let me hold that. Kick it. Oh, yeah. With self-control, you can slow your roll and do what you need to do. It can take a toll if you miss your goal. So do what you need to do even when you don't want to. Self-control. Word. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad we were finally able to be an example of self-control. And of nap time. And of poor wardrobe choices. Hey everyone, this is my favorite part of the show where we dig deeper into our big idea. Remember what it is? Let's say it together. Self-control is choosing to do what you should even when you don't want to. Great job. I think we need a few visuals to help us understand how self-control can help. What do you got in mind? I'm going to give you a few items and let's just see what happens. I'm a little bit scared, but okay. Mystery items, I'm down, I'm down, okay. Our first item is a pack of cookies. This is always, this is always a good thing. I just, I'm just gonna take these cookies and just gonna open the cookies. Uh, and... I had a feeling this would happen, but go ahead, have a cookie. Really? Yes, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love, oh my gosh, can I have another one? Of course, eat as many as you want. Oh man, I want. Sam, what's wrong? Dude, I think I had like way too many cookies. Yeah, I was wondering if you were ever gonna stop eating those, yeah. but do you think you'll be okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I'll be fine. I just, oh God, I got a bellyache. Yeah, I, th God. I think you're right. It's like you had no control of yourself, oh. but I do have another object lesson for you. Really? What is it? Please don't tell me it's more food. No more food, buddy. But I really think you're gonna like this next item. You think so? Let me see what you got. Oh, oh, yo, 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 give me that, give me that. I love video, is this a new PS5? I love video games. Oh my gosh, yes. What do you got on here? Yes, it is a video game. You are so right. And Fortnite is all Dude, you have to, oh my gosh, watch me grind these nasty. Oh my gosh, look at these, gr oh my gosh. I'm gonna roll 90s on you all day. Yes, yes, woo, yeah. Oh gosh, yes! Sam, have you been playing all night? Sam. Sam! Oh gosh. Oh, what, huh? What did, 
What time is it? When when did you change? What is what? Sam, it's 9 a.m., buddy. You've been playing all night since I gave you that controller. Uh, I went home, I had a nice supper, a shower, went to sleep, and came back here to find you still playing. Are you ready for your test today at school? Oh my gosh, no, I forgot about the... Mm. Oh, no, gosh. Mm. <sighs> hey Sam, did, did you get some rest, buddy? Um, I got a little, but you know, like my tummy, stomach, it's just, it's not, I mean, the Oreo is not the best dinner, and I just, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna do great on that test today. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. I really hated to see you like that, but I think I can help you learn a valuable lesson in all of this. Uh, wait, a, wait a second. You gave me all of this stuff and the cookies and the video games and you... Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. You're right, but I didn't make you do anything. You asked for a cookie and then another, and I said eat all you want. Then I gave you a video game controller and a game to play. But I have the test. Why would you do that to me? See, here's the hard lesson, buddy. Life has so much to offer you. A lot of good and a lot of bad. Some things may even look good, but end up being very bad for you. It's very important that you have self-control. I offered the cookies, but who chose to eat them? Uh... I mean, I did, and I guess I chose to stay up all night and play video games too, didn't I? That's right. I'm proud for you, of you for learning that so quick. But you see, you want to keep eating the cookies, and it led to a belly ache. Now, add self-control to the story, and you may only decide to eat one or two cookies, or maybe no cookies at all. Even though you really want to devour all the cookies like you did, self-control, not doing what you really want to do, helps you not make harmful decisions to eat them all and end up with a bellyache. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. And I, I guess instead of playing video games all night, and I could have set a timer. That would have helped me have self-control. And, and then I could have gone to bed, had plenty of rest, maybe eaten an actual dinner, and uh, probably be more confident, have more self-control with my studying too, and be ready for my math test before I played video games would have been smart as well. Wow, I am like so proud of you. I think you have learned a valuable lesson here. Let's repeat the definition of self-control one more time together. Self-control is choosing to do what you should even when you don't want to. Great job, buddy. Want to celebrate with some ice cream? Oh, mmm. I really want some, but I'll wait. See what mom's cooking for dinner. Hey, I'm Lawson, and I just discovered the best gum in the world. I mean, this stuff is amazing. It's got just the right sugar crunch on the outside, and the flavor lasts forever. I could do this stuff all day. All right, here, let's see bubble. But you didn't show up to listen to me extol the glories of gum. <laughs> no, you want a story, and I'm gonna give it to you. This one's about a girl Lila, my sister knows. Lila and her mom have been sledding all day down Mount Everest while yodeling. Yodeling, It's so much fun, they just can't stop. And when they finally come inside, they're so cold, they both turn blue. So Lila says, ooh, I want to make hot chocolate. And mom says, go for it. So Lila goes all out and adds cocoa and milk and cream and sugar and dark chocolate, and sugar, and chocolate chips, and sugar, and sugar. And when it's all mixed up, Mom and Lila give it a try. And it's so awesome, it blows their hair back. And Mom warns, better not drink too much of this, cause the caffeine in the chocolate and all the sugar could keep them up. When they're done, 
mom has to go finish something for work. Lila's going to put the hot chocolate away when she notices her fingertips are still blue. And she's like, I better drink a little more hot chocolate. And as she finishes that mug, she happens to see herself in the mirror and she notices her eyebrows are still blue. So she says, oops, better have some more. And then there's hardly any left in the pot. So Lila figures, that's not enough to save. And then she drinks the rest. And then she goes to bed. But an hour later, she's still awake thanks to all the sugar and caffeine. And by midnight, her eyes feel like they're glued wide open. And around 3 a.m., she's bouncing off the walls. And in the morning at breakfast, uh, she finally falls asleep in her toasty oats. And mom is like, what happened? And Lila croaks, too much of a good thing. Mom figures Lila has suffered enough and helps her wake up with a quick sled run, but only one. So kids, never yodel at home, but always do remember that self-control is choosing to do what you should, even when you don't want to. Yeah, maybe this isn't my favorite gum after all. Much better. See you guys next time. Bye. Dad always says we can learn things the easy way or the hard way. But today, well, it sure wasn't easy, but I think it will get easier next time. It started at breakfast when Dad said he had to go do some errands with Aunt Lisa. He said her family has been going through a tough time and she needed him to help today. So he needed me to pitch in too. My little cousin Sam needed a place to hang out for a few hours. And all I could think about was that every time he came over, he broke stuff and took my things and he never listens. Dad said, I really need you to control your temper and make sure he has a good time. I knew he was serious. So I told him I'd try. So when Sam got there and the first thing he did was spill his drink, I had to remind myself to try and be cool. Then when he didn't listen, when I told him not to feed the fish too much, ugh, I almost lost it. But at least he helped me try and clean it up. Sort of. <laughs> I couldn't keep up with him. I thought it would be good if we tried to play some Brick Busters. And that worked for a while, but he broke the controller. He broke my controller. How do you even? Oh, I almost lost it again. <sighs> if I hadn't taken a breath, I think I would have really messed up. So Sam and I drew some treasure maps and made up stories about them. It worked for him and it worked for me. I think it saved the day. Aunt Lisa looked tired, but she gave me the biggest hug. So did Sam, and he asked his mom if he could come over and play with me again. It's been so great being with you guys. That's right, I'm so glad that you helped me learn about self-control, and I mean, my stomach is feeling better after those cookies, and I'm actually really glad I chose to held off uh, on that ice cream and showed some self-control. Good, I'm glad you've learned something new to help the world around you. You know, self-control isn't just for you. When you make wise decisions, it helps others around you as well. Wow, that is awesome. Self-control seems like it is so important. In fact, I've got an idea. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, repeat after me, and we're going to say the big idea together. Okay, you okay, ready? I'm ready. So, self-control. Self-control. Is choosing to do what you should. Is choosing to do what you should. Even when you don't want to. Even when you don't want to. You know, at the beginning of a new year, a lot of people think might be thinking about self-control, specifically how to put this big idea to work inside of you to accomplish new goals. When we do that together, we discover that things that we might not always feel like doing or the things that are hard to do are sometimes the things worth doing the most. Thanks for being a great audience, guys, and we'll see you next month. Bye. Just might be a